going to say the best team the Jazz have played in quite some time. Best team they played all year. Yeah. Well, even though the Jazz beat them by four. Here in Salt Lake City. Here in Salt Lake back on January the 1st. Yeah, they're really good. And you know what? The fact that Jazz stayed in this game, fought through it, I mean, the script is out now on how to play the Jazz. So now the Jazz, like, everyone's tried. We've seen everyone try a lot of different things. Eagles is going to inbound here down to six. Now, I agree with you there, David, but I think you got to have the personnel to play it uh, now. Right 100%. There. Okay. All right. so. Donovan, catch and shoot, right corner three, up and in. Three-point game, 110-107. 17 seconds left. The Jazz file, Kawhi Leonard in the backcourt. All of a sudden, Donovan uh, has 30 points. Ring the Lexus 30 point bell brought to you by Larry H. Miller, Lexus and Murray, and Lexus and Linden. Everybody will test drive luxurious Lexus automobile today. No, Ron, I think the script is out on how to guard the Jazz. I think that's clear. This is, there's only, we've watched everyone else try everything else. Nothing's worked. This is, this is really the only thing you can do. Now, who can do it? Perfect. The Lakers can do it. You don't think so? I don't. Oh, you're shaking. By the way, Ron's shaking his head no. no. You don't think the Lakers can just guard the two-man game in the middle of the floor with length and we'll hug, find the, out shoot next and hug week. the shooters? Yeah. Well, without Anthony Davis, we really might not find out. But Atlanta tried it. Bothered our, bothered our offense that night. They didn't have the firepower to do it. They also weren't playing Trey Young, who... Probably they couldn't have executed if he was on the floor. Kawhi's free throws are good, and it's 112-107 now. Inbound to Donovan. 16 seconds left. Donovan will pull into a three and hit. Wow, 112-110. Another foul. 12.6 seconds left. Pass ahead to Beverly. Fouled by Donovan with 9.7 seconds left. And if Donovan, if Donovan does not See, if Beverly doesn't make both free throws. But the thing is, the ja well, there's 12 seconds on the clock. Yeah, the Jazz, Jazz have plenty of time if he misses one of the two free throws. The elevation Donovan Mitchell is getting in these jump shots is incredible. They're so soft. Six points in his first half. Mitchell. Cross court feed. Bogdanovich, pump fake, quarter three ball, lots of time, lots of space, and lots of points to be had as Bogdanovich makes it. 57 47, 50 seconds remaining. Clippers by 10. That's the fifth three of this first half for the. Steph Curry, Luka Doncic, Damian Lillard, and then it was Donovan Mitchell. By the way, Quinn Snyder will be coaching Team LeBron in the All Star game, and now our officiating crew, Kevin Scott. James Williams, Jason Goldenberg with a huge call down the stretch in this game. I think this is going to be a clear path foul. Leonard got it up. No foul was called. Yeah, oh, this is a clear, clear path foul. Mitchell's coming from behind, and nobody's in front of Patrick Beverly or Marcus Morris. So the Clippers are going to get free throws and the basketball. This is a huge momentum shift, and Utah, who has really done a great job of staying in this game late, May have just tossed it away as Donovan Mitchell did what he probably should have done, which is foul. It just, it's so hard, those split-second judgments to pull back at the last second. I'd be shocked if this isn't a clear pass foul. Let's put it that way. Nobody is in front of either Mitchell or Marcus Morris. Or, excuse me, of Beverly or Marcus Morris, and Mitchell comes from behind to foul Beverly. Either way, I've described it enough. We'll get the final official word here from Kevin Scott. After review, replay official rules, common foul. Please reset the game clock to 10.1. How in the world? How in the world? I implore anybody who's listening in the car, at home, wherever, find this on Twitter and tell me this is not a common, uh, is not a clear path foul. There's literally zero people in front of Patrick Beverly or Marcus Morris. They foul Beverly. And somehow it's a common foul. I'm not sure. 10.1 seconds remaining. Beverly will go to the free throw line. Just hit two clutch ones. He needs two more to make sure this is a two possession game with the way Donovan Mitchell has made the last couple of threes in the last few possessions. Clippers had 
a 13-point lead in this fourth quarter, but Utah has just battled through and found their way through it down the stretch. So Beverly will shoot two here. First one. Rolled through. 113 to 110. Clippers out of timeouts. Utah with one more. LA by three. This one would make it a two-possession game with 10.1 seconds remaining. Second one for Beverly. Is perfect. Calm, cool, collected. Mr. 94 feet. Mr. Free throw in the fourth quarter. As Beverly makes it 114 to 110. So Beverly now with 17 points in this game. And the Clipper lead is back to four. So it's all going to come down. Quinn Snyder called the timeout. They're going to advance it into the front court. I'm still shocked it wasn't a clear path foul, if we're being honest. But with 10.1 seconds remaining, the Clippers need one final stop to put this game on ice. Utah, again, you have to look out for these screens set by Rudy Gobert on the perimeter to free up Donovan Mitchell, Mike Conley, who's hit a couple of the threes tonight. Utah's now made 12 threes, but 12 threes for a Jazz team that only that makes 16.6 per game this season is great by the Clippers' defense, not to mention when they hold their opponents to 13 or fewer threes, L.A. is 18 and 4 on the season. They're going to be looking for a three and an open three-point opportunity after what they've done the last two possessions. So make sure you're keeping that in the back of your mind. Watch out for those screens. Fight over the top, but don't be over-aggressive because we've seen these officials tonight call a lot of ticky-tack fouls. Donovan Mitchell, 27 points in the second half alone, 33 to lead all scores. Clippers leading 114 to 110 with 10.1 seconds remaining. Utah with the basketball. Ingles will inbound. Mitchell on the floor. Bogdanovich, Conley, and now Jordan Clarkson will come on as well. Beverly, Leonard, Batum, George, and Morris. Ingles will get it in near sideline. Looking for uh, Mitchell. He finds him on the right wing. Hits three. Off the heel of the basket. Rebound to Leonard, and he is fouled with 6.2 seconds remaining. Donovan Mitchell with a highly contested shot. And I think he was hoping for a foul from the outside. Him and Nick Batum are going back and forth. But either way, Kawhi Leonard will go to the line to put this one on ice with 6.2 seconds left. It wasn't really a great shot. He was basically banked up on the sideline. I was a little surprised that was the shot that they got. But really great defense by the Clippers. And now Leonard will do his part as he gets two more attempts. By the way, the Clippers have reached 20 free throws in the game. When they do that this year, they are 13-5. and five. They will improve to 14-5, and five, likely if Leonard can hit these two. The first one from the claw. His jersey is now untucked from his shorts. And he puts it in. 115-110. to 110. How about Patrick Beverly with 17 points tonight? George with 15. Leonard now with 28. 19 for Lou Williams and 17 for Marcus Morris. One more for the claw. He can make it a six-point game once again. 6.2 remaining. And does. 116-110. No timeouts remaining for Utah. Clippers by six. In for Mitchell. He's going to sprint to the front court along the near sideline. Mitchell rises for the right wing three. He got fouled by Paul George. 2.2 seconds remaining. And Donovan Mitchell is going to shoot three free throws. And Mitchell will go to the line. George is trying to enforce. Oh, my God. He did not touch him. He did not touch him. He quite literally did not touch a single body part of Donovan Mitchell. And yet he's awarded three free throws. Let's see if Rasheed Wallace is in the building. With 2.2 seconds remaining. Donovan Mitchell to the free throw line where he's 5 of 6 tonight. 83% on the season. The first one is good. 116-111 Clippers. And Avicii Zubats is going to check in after the second, as will Serge Ibaka for rebounding purposes alone. Second one. Donovan Mitchell taking all the time in the world. Bends the knees. Releases. Hits. 116 to 112 with 2.2 seconds remaining as Ibaka and Zubats are in for the Clippers. Gobert and Favors are in for the Jazz. Beverly and Batum will take a seat. Ingles and Bogdanovich will do the same. So all the bigs are in. All the seven footers are in. Gobert at seven foot one. Favors at six foot ten. Ibaka at seven foot. Zubats at seven foot. 
Zubats is matched up with Gobert. Ibaka in favor. Third one from Donovan Mitchell. He is long. He missed it on purpose. Tip it outside. Put it up from Royce O'Neal. And that'll do it. It was at the horn. He airballed it anyway. And the Clippers have slayed the big, bad Utah Jazz. 116-112. L.A. back in the win column with a bang. It wasn't easy down the stretch, but it was effective as the Clippers will come away with their 22nd win of the season. Improves to 22-9 and in the Utah Jazz nine-game winning streak. Their 20 of their last 21 has finally come to an end. They are 24-6 and now, still sitting atop the Western Conference. But a massive win as the Clippers get their full lineup back in force everybody finally available once again after george missed the last seven leonard missed the last three but two missed the last two and the clippers are back in the win column with a 116 112 victory over the utah jazz 29 for Kawhi leonard 19 for lou williams 17 for both beverly and marcus morris 15 for paul george in his return to action nine for ibaka three for zubach five for jackson two for Terrence Mann, and a massive four-point Clippers victory. So that'll do it for us from Staples Center in downtown L.A. For Big Bro Jake Warner, Zach L. Caldy doing some great stuff per usual, and Adam G. Oslin, no Eagles, saying so long until Sunday, 5 p.m. Pacific, when the Brooklyn Nets come in and invade Staples Center. We've got all the coverage in what should be another fantastic matchup between two of the NBA's best teams. But until then, we thank all of you so much. Thank you for joining us tonight in what was a highly entertaining, high level of play between two of the top three teams in the Western Conference and the Clippers come away with a signature victory, 116 to 112. Until then, we've got post-game coverage next. Adam Oslin has you covered on the other side on the Clippers Radio Network. The home of the LA Clippers. LA Clippers. This has been LA Clippers basketball. Ed Williams knocks it down. It defeats Azuba. What a clutch shot by Mook. Now I can keep it jumping when it's crushed. Kawhi Leonard. Oh, George. This is my time. Clippers basketball is brought to you by In and Out. That's what a hamburger is all about. LA County Department of Public Health. Quit smoking today. Call 1 800 No Butts. Stick around for Clippers Locker Room on your home for the LA Clippers. Verizon 5G is here.